Mother. Oh, what's, what is it, dear? What, what, what did you say his name was? O'Connor, why? No, no what's, his, what's his first name? Oh, I don't remember. Uh, oh, oh, yes, I do. It was um, Jim. Oh, oh, Mother, no, not Jim O'Connor. Well, that's what it was. It was Jim. You know, I've never known a Jim that wasn't nice. Are you absolutely positive that his name was Jim? Oh, well, sure, I'm sure. Why? Well, if that's the Jim that Tom and I used to know in high school. Oh, Mother, I, I could knock him to the table. What's this? What sort of silly talk is this? R remember when you asked me if I'd ever liked a boy? Remember, I, I showed you this boy's picture in the yearbook. Oh, Laura, Laura, were you in love with that boy? I, I don't know. All I know is that I could not come to the table if it was him. You'd have to excuse me. Oh, honey, it won't be him. It isn't the least bit likely, but whether it is or not, you will come to the table. You will not be excused. Please, Mother, I'll have to be. Oh, I don't intend to humor your silliness, Laura. I've had enough out of you and your brother both, so just sit down and compose yourself till they arrive. Tom has forgotten his key, so you'll have to let them in. No, no, Mother, please do not make me answer that door. Oh, well, how can I when I haven't even finished making the mayonnaise dressing for the salmon? Please, please don't make me do it. Mother! Mother, please do not make Laura, me... Laura, the door! Please don't make me answer it, Mother. What is the matter with you, you silly thing? Mother, I, I can't answer that. Oh, why have you chosen this moment to lose your mind? Because I, I'm sick. Oh, you're sick. Am I sick? You and your brother have me puzzled to death. You can never act like normal children. Give me one good reason why you should be afraid to open a door. You go to that door, Laura Wingfield. You march straight to that door. Yes, Mother. I've got to put courage in you, honey, for a living. Oh. Jim, this is my sister, Laura. Laura, this is Jim. I didn't know Shakespeare had a sister. How are you, Laura? Uh, how, how do you do? Oh, I'm okay. Well, your hand's cold, Laura. Yes, well, I, I've been playing the Victrola. <laughs> oh, you must have been playing classical music. You, you ought to let, play a little hot swing music to warm you up. What's the matter with her? Oh, Laura. Laura is, um, terribly shy. Shy, huh? You know, it's unusual to meet a shy girl nowadays. I don't believe you even mentioned that you had a sister. Ah, well now you know I have one. You want a piece of the paper? Oh, uh-huh. Comics? <laughs> Comics? Sports. Huh, I see the Dizzy Dean is on his bad behavior. Oh, yeah? Yeah, but... Hey, where'd you go? Out on the terrace to smoke. You know, Shakespeare, I'm gonna sell you a bill of goods. What goods? A course I'm taking. What course? A course in public speaking. You know, you and me, we are not the warehouse type. Oh, thanks. That's good news. <laughs> what has public speaking got to do with it? Well, it fits you for executive positions. Ah. Uh, I tell you, it's done a hell of a lot for me. In what respect? In all respects. Now, ask yourself. What is the difference between you, me, and the guys in the office down front? Brains? No. Ability? <laughs> no. Well, then what? Well, primarily, it amounts to just one single thing. And what is that one singular thing? Social poise. The ability to square up to someone and hold your own on any social level. Oh, social poise. You know something, Jim? You might be there, down in that uh, night school, learning public speaking. I have, well, I have other plans. My well, mother over there, she's, uh, she invited you over tonight. It wasn't just me there, uh, asking you there at the warehouse. You know something, Jim? It was, uh, mother, is that you? Tom? Uh, yes, mother? Is that mother? you and Mr. O'Connor? Uh, yes, mother. Are you comfortable? Uh, very, Mother. Uh, ask Mr. O'Connor if he wants to wash his hands. Uh, no, thank you, ma'am. I took care of that down at the warehouse. Tom? Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Mendoza was speaking to me about you. Oh, favorably. <laughs> what do you think? Uh, well... You're, you're gonna be out of a job if you don't wake up. Oh, I'm waking up. Well, yeah, but you show no signs of it. The, the signs are interior. I'm just about to make a change. I'm right on the edge of committing myself to something that doesn't include the warehouse or 
Mr. Mendoza, our night school course in public speaking. Now what are you gassing about? I'm tired of the movies. The movies? Yeah, the movies. Look at them. All those famous people in Hollywood, hogging it all, gobbling the whole thing up. You know what they do? They're supposed to have adventure for everybody in America. Well, everybody in America just sits there and watches them having it. People go to the movies instead of moving until there's a war. Oh yes, now that's when adventure becomes available to the masses. Everyone's dish, not, not only Gables. So then it's our turn to be exotic, far off. We can go to the South Sea Island, make something of ourselves. But I'm not patient. I don't want to wait till then. I'm, I'm tired of the movies and well, I'm about to move. Move? Yeah. When? Soon. Where? Where? Uh, look. Jim, look, I know I might seem dreamy, but I'm boiling inside. Every time I get up in the morning and I put on my shoes before going to work and I sit there and I think, what am I doing? And whatever that means, I, I know it doesn't mean shoes, except it's something to wear on a traveler's feet. <sighs> look. What? The Union of Merchant Seamen. Huh. I paid my dues this month, instead of the electric light bill. Well, you'll regret it when they turn off the lights. Oh, I won't be here. Well, how about your mother? Oh, I'm like my father. The bastard son of a bastard. You see how he grins? He's absent now in 16 years. Well, you're just talking. How does your mother feel about this? Shh. Mother's not acquainted with my plans. Um. Yes, mother. Where are y'all? Out on the terrace, mother. Well, why don't you come in? All right. Oh. <laughs> why, Mother, you, you look so pretty. Oh, why, well, I believe that is the first compliment you've ever paid me. I wish you would look pleasant when you're about to say something pleasant so I could expect it. And this must be Mr. O'Connor. How do you do, ma'am? Oh, introductions entirely unnecessary. I've heard so much about you from my boy. I finally said, Tom, why don't you bring this paragon to supper finally? Instead of just hearing you sing his praises all the time, I don't know why my son is so standoffish. That is not Southern behavior. Why don't we sit down? And I felt a nice, fresh breeze a moment ago. Where has it gone to? Tom, why don't you crack open that door? Hmm, so warm already, and not quite summer even. You know, we're going to burn up when summer really arrives. However, we're having a very light supper. Light food is better for this time of year. Light food and light clothes are what warm weather calls for. Oh, it's come so quick this year. I wasn't prepared. All of a sudden, heavens, already summer. I just ran to the trunk and pulled out this dress. Oh, terribly old. Uh, Historical mother, even, how... but, but feels so good, you know, our... so good and cool. How about our supper? Oh, honey, you go ask sister if supper's on the table. You know that sister is in full charge of supper. Have you met Laura? Well, she came to the door. Oh, she let you in. Yes, ma'am. You know, it's rare for a girl as sweet and pretty as Laura to be domestic, but Laura is, thank heavens, not only pretty, but very domestic. Well, I never was a bit. I never could make a thing but angel food cake. Well, in the South, we had so many servants. Gone, gone, gone. All vestige of gracious living. I was not prepared for what the future brought me. All of my admirers were planters and sons of planters, and so of course I assumed that I would bring up my family on a large piece of land with plenty of servants. I married no planter. I married a man who worked for the telephone company, a telephone man who fell in love with long distance. Now he travels and I don't even know where. Oh, oh, but, but what am I going on for about my tribulations? Oh, tell me yours. I hope you don't have any. Tom! Yes, Mother? Is supper ready? Oh, why? Well, supper's on the table. Oh, so it is. How lovely. Where's Laura? Uh, she said she wasn't feel feeling too well. She said she better not come to the table. Laura! Yes, Mother? Mr. O'Connor. Oh, thank you, ma'am. Laura, we can't say grace until you come to the table. Mother, I, I'm so sorry. Oh, 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 oh Laura, oh. oh my goodness. Oh, my. oh. Is she all right? Oh, darling. <laughs> the hot stove made her ill. 
I told her it was just too warm this evening, but is Laura all right? She's, uh, she's doing better, Mother. Oh, 